This is how to optimize your PC for gaming in just 10 minutes. We're going straight into the most effective performance tweaks, no filler, no sketchy downloads, just what works. If you want higher FPS, lower input delay, and a faster feeling system overall, stay with me. The best upgrades come toward the end. First, create a system restore point. Press the Windows key type, create a restore point, and hit enter. If anything goes wrong, you can roll back. Next, open game mode. Press the Windows key type game mode, press enter, and turn it on. This reduces background activity during gaming. Now go to graphics settings. Select change default graphics settings. Enable the option called optimizations for windowed games. If you see the option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, turn it on. This shifts more load from your CPU to your GPU. It's especially helpful in CPU heavy games like Fortnite. If you notice any instability or stutters, just turn it back off. Next, disable core isolation. Press the Windows key, type core isolation and open the settings. Disable memory integrity. This feature eats about 5% of your performance for no real gain. Now let's clean up Windows Bloat. Open PowerShell as administrator. Paste in the command from the description to launch the Chris Titus tech tool. No installation needed. Click on tweaks, follow along with what I select, or read each option to understand what it does. These are safe and I run them myself. If you use Adobe apps, do not enable the Adobe network block. It will break their functionality. Skip the set display to performance option for now. We'll do that manually later. Once you're happy with your selections, click run tweaks. Wait a few minutes until the process finishes. Search power options in the start menu and open it. We're going to add the ultimate performance plan. To do that, open command prompt as administrator and paste the line from the description. Once added, go back to power options and select it. I personally get better results with this plan, but you should test between ultimate and balance for your setup. Now head into settings and go through these changes. All right, listen up guys. You know how much I've spent on my Fortnite account and I know how much you hate dealing with overpriced game currency and sketchy exchanges. We've all had our fair share of horror stories, but I finally found the site I can trust. It's called Eldorado. Eldorado has completely changed the game for me. Every transaction on here is secure, so there's zero stress about being scammed. Plus, they have something called Eldorado Trade Shield Protection, which means they've got your back every step of the way. I know we all want the best currency rates, and with Eldorado, I get my game currency fast. Like, in just a few minutes fast. They seriously have some of the lowest prices I've seen, and I'm saving a ton compared to other places. And when it comes to in-game cosmetics, same deal. They've got everything you need to deck out your locker. And I'm not the only one talking about this. Check out these Trustpilot reviews. Thousands of gamers, just like me, are giving Eldorado top marks. It's it's legit. Their support team online 24 7. If you ever need help, it could be 3 a.m. They're ready to answer any questions and have got a money back guarantee, so it's pretty much risk free. Either you get your order or you get your money back. Simple as that. So if you're tired of overpriced game currency and want a trustworthy place to safely exchange in game cosmetics, check out Eldorado.gg with a link in the description. And you can use code FETCH at checkout for an exclusive discount only for you guys. Turn off notifications under system. Also enable do not disturb. Next, go to personalization, then dynamic lighting. Disable both options. This setting runs in the background and can interfere with your RGB software. Now go to apps, then advanced app settings. Disable share across devices. This used to cause high CPU usage and still waste resources. While you're in apps, go to startup apps and disable everything you don't use on launch. Then go to accessibility, choose visual effects, and turn off both transparency effects and animation effects. Finally, go to privacy and security. Go through every section from general to activity history and disable all of it. You can leave safe search on if you want, but added protection online. Head to Windows Update, open advanced options, and disable the top four settings. This avoids updates during active hours and stops annoying notifications while you game. Now go to delivery optimization and disable allow downloads from other PCs. This prevents your system from pulling or sharing update data with random computers on the internet. Search advanced system settings in the start menu and open it. Under performance, click settings. Choose adjust for best performance. Then enable three options manually. Smooth edges of screen fonts. Show thumbnails instead of icons and show window contents while dragging. This keeps your desktop usable while still maximizing performance. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, open the NVIDIA control panel. Go to manage 3D settings and apply these. Low latency mode, on. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Texture filtering, high performance. You can also go to program settings, pick a game and apply settings individually to see if there's a difference.
performance. For AMD users, open the AMD Adrenaline software, click the settings icon in the top right, then preferences, disable everything you see, also disable hotkeys, they get triggered way too easily. Next click on gaming, then go to graphics, set texture filtering quality to performance, enable surface format optimization, change tessellation mode to override application settings, then turn it off. These changes reduce VRAM usage and improve frame consistency. Search regedit in the start menu and open the registry editor. Paste the first path from the description into the address bar. Change these values. GPU priority set to decimal 8. Priority set to decimal 6. Scheduling category I'll set to high. SFIO priority also set to high. Next navigate to the second path for win 32 priority separation. Set the value to decimal 38. This prioritizes your game over background processes. Then go to the third location for network throttling. If you don't see network throttling index, right click the empty space. Choose new, then desword 32 bit value and name it exactly that. Set the value to 8 Fs in hex to completely disable throttling. Lastly, double click system responsiveness and change it to zero. This frees up CPU power for foreground apps. Restart your PC and press delete or F2 to enter the BIOS. Look for XMP if you're on Intel or DOCP if you're on AMD. Enable it. This sets your RAM to run at its full rated speed. Every gaming rig should have this turned on. That's it. If you followed every step, your system should now feel noticeably smoother and more responsive, not just in benchmarks, but in real gameplay. Expect better 1% lows, faster load times, and less stutter in game. If you want to take it even further, check out the full optimization playlist linked below.